Hi everyone. In this video you will see the top 5 best tier 8 light tanks in World of Tanks. This top was compiled based on my subjective opinion. The main criteria for selection tanks was the top speed, as the higher it is, the better, it's obvious. So, let's get started. In 5th place is the German light tank, M4190. Though it's a non-typical representative of its class, and it has difficult gameplay, in my opinion, this tank is very cool, now I will explain why. First and foremost, is its gun. The damage per shot is 240. This is not much. But many light tanks don't have even such figure. Moreover, the average damage per minute is about 2300. This is almost the best rate among all light tanks at tier 8. In 1v1 combat you can win even some medium tank, and this is a very big advantage, especially if you like active and aggressive gameplay. And you just must play actively, because it's a light tank, and it has excellent mobility. Among the minuses we can mention its big size, as well as too weak armor, even despite the fact that it is a light tank. So, the main tasks of this tank are passive detection of enemies, and dealing damage. By the way, there is a Chinese counterpart M41D, it's pretty similar to the M4190, but with a more accurate and rapid-fire gun, only there the damage per shot is 170. In general, both of these tanks are pretty good, and deserve 5th place. In 4th place is the Soviet LTTB. I think you have often noticed that LTTB players play very brazenly and aggressively. For the most part this is due to inexperience, because light tanks are quite a difficult vehicle class. But this is not the only reason, also important fact is availability of armor in this tank. It's not very strong, no. But it's there, and it works pretty often, surprisingly. But if you suddenly want to play LTTB, you shouldn't rely on the armor all the time. Plus, this tank has really good mobility. Which implies active enemy detection. Because the view range here is not very nice, you have to be constantly on the move if you want to get a lot of assist. You can also play the LTTB as a light tank damager, though not as effective as the M4190. Damage per shot is 180. Accuracy and stabilization are not bad. Overall, it's a pretty comfortable gun, though not the most powerful. If you want to play a versatile, interesting light tank with good survivability, and you don't want to spend money on this miserable game, the LTTB is your choice. Dear friends, if you like this kind of content, please like or dislike this video, this way you support me a lot. Ok, let's move on. In third place is the ELC Even 90. Its main advantages are small size, and hence excellent camouflage. This tank is so small, that even standing still, it's very difficult to hit it from a long distance, considering the miserable accuracy in this game. Not to mention when you're driving at maximum speed. All sorts of bobs and Alexis just won't have a chance to hit you. Still, the main task of ELC 90 is passive enemy detection and careful gameplay, because the mobility here is not so good. Just take a bush, and then this tank will do everything for you. The gun, unfortunately, is poor. It has a 3 shell clip of 220 damage. It's not bad. But such features as accuracy, stabilization, and damage per minute are just awful. So, the ELC Even 90 is definitely not designed to deal damage. Thus, with all the pros and cons, this Frenchman is probably the best tier 8 light tank for passive detection, and if you want to practice to get better at this kind of gameplay, to make it easier for you to play Manticore later on, for example, ELC Even 90 is a very decent vehicle. In second place is another Soviet, this time premium light tank, LT-432. In fact, it's an improved version of the LTTB. Although it would seem, why so? After all, developers said that premium tanks shouldn't be superior to their standard counterparts. That's why, in each of my top are only premium tanks. But okay, that's not the point. The LT-432, has incredibly toxic armor. It's not strong, but it's really toxic, because by the numbers armor is not much. But due to all sorts of slopes and ricochet shapes, this tank often absorbs shells without damage. 
Just look at the appearance of this tank, it looks like an insect pest. In short, survivability is one of the main pluses of this tank. The gun here is the same as the LTTB, with minimal differences. In terms of mobility it's also similar to the LTTB. Excellent top speed and specific engine power. Gameplay wise it's no different from the LTTB, except that the LT432 is simply more enjoyable to play, thanks to better armor. It's also worth noting that there's as much as 7 degree depression angle of the gun. For such a light tank this is a lot, as it allows you to fully use the turret armor. In general, I think this tank is very toxic and imbalanced. It shouldn't be in the game, this is my opinion. But the fact remains, LT432 tank is really good. In first place is the French wheeled light tank, EBR75. You should agree that it was obvious. After all, it has really cool mobility, as well as any other wheeled tank. But be careful, if you have never played these tanks, at first you will be strange and even difficult to control it, because of too high speed. You need to carefully avoid obstacles, switch modes in time, and all that. But overall, this is the main and obvious advantage of the EBR-75. Because if you train, you can do very steep maneuvers, which you can't do on normal light tanks. For example, to drive up to an enemy base, locate all enemies, and get back alive. Plus to the excellent mobility, EBR-75 surprisingly has a really good survivability. It's not even about the armor. It's because the tank has a strange shape, and the wheels very often absorb shells without damage. I think you noticed this yourself. Although, by the way, Researchable Lynx, doesn't have this advantage. And in general, it is worse than its premium counterpart in almost everything. In terms of firepower there is nothing special. Well-balanced gun, with a two-shell clip of 150 damage and very quick reload. It's a pity the penetration is not very high. But it's not a problem, because on this tank you should shoot at the sides, thankfully mobility allows. Well, thank you for watching this video to the end, I hope you found it useful. It's time to say goodbye. Good luck to everyone, and remember, don't play World of Tanks.